hello guys my name is siraj and in this video i am going to show you how to connect your java application to your mysql database so first of all you should have a mysql database in your computer installed i have web server and here is my mysql mysql database so let me show you yeah this is my mysql database so i'm going to create a table i mean i'm going to create a database and a table and i will print this in my java program so let's create a database and i'm going to do this by command line you can also create by from this user interface okay now I have created a database named Java and it should be visible here. Yeah, I got one. Now I'm going to create a table, uh, say testing, and I have number of columns of three. wait let's make it more interesting i'm going to give the name of a table as girlfriends and uh, this will hold the id of my girlfriend this is the name and this is the year uh, she become my girlfriend so it should be int the name should be a text and say year um, say year say an int okay so let's make it and set id as auto increment so every time i add any value in the table id got incremented by itself okay so let's fill something in the table uh, first was uh, I don't remember I think what was the name I don't remember actually her name it's been a very long time so call her Shireen uh, year was 2010 okay now add some more girlfriends my next girlfriend was uh, the year was 2012 okay and uh, the third one was Bhagyashri, yeah, long name, and the year was 2013. So, I have a lot of stuff in my database. The table girlfriend having three items one Shireen, second is Jasmeet, and third is Bhagyashri. So, let's print this table through our java program so uh, to access the database you should have a mysql database connector you can download this from the link i have given in my description of this video okay so after you download you will got a zip file uh, looks like this mysql connector java 5.1.40 okay i'm going to put this in my 
close the necessary folders I'm going to put this folder in my directory in which my Java program that is I have the Java program sa.java here is the source file and I have copied this folder in my this folder okay so first of all write the program import java.sql.star public class sir which is the same as the file name public static void void main which is our main function arguments arguments now I'm going to put this, the codes of connecting the database in the try catch block as it throws an exception in case last out for name this will tell the compiler that I'm going to connect with my MySQL server but not Oracle in case of Oracle uh, you have to make some minor changes so leave it uh, let's see how to connect MySQL server com dot mysql jdbc dot driver okay and this is a string so put it in double quotes okay now the second thing I am going to make a connection so I will make a object of type of class connection and uh, I'm going to call get connection get, get connection method now what it does is it lo log into the database of our MySQL which has a username and a password so first let's store these in the strings let's say string server equal to jdbc mysql and local host and here comes the name of our database that is the java okay for java i don't remember exactly it's for java so this is our server name now second thing is my username I'm making variable uname and storing root in this and the third thing is password password there is no password in my database so I pass the empty string okay now pass these three strings in our get connection method so server username and password password okay so this will create a connection to our database that is login to our database now make a object of class statement and connect to our this application create statement here I'm going to create a statement that will look into our the database which is connected by this statement okay now the next thing is to run a query to our database and this is done by result set class say rs and the statement s dot execute query i'm going to write my sql query say select star from what is the name of my table was girlfriends 
Oh, friends, yeah, it's done. Now it will show my girlfriend's uh, and their year and their ID. Okay. Now this will fetch the name and the data, uh, any data from the table, but it will not show until we are going to write the separate statement to print here while rs dot while rs dot next that is rs dot next will return false when there's no data left so on every iteration it selects the next row so when i write this it will select this row and print it here then on next iteration it will select this and net on next iteration it will select this and on next iteration it will there's no any uh, rows left so it will return the false and we will go out of the loop so i'm going to write here the print statement system dot out dot print line um, so our table will looks like uh, now we have three columns in my table that is the ID which is an integer so I will write here rs dot get int rs dot get int that is the first column and a tab between the next column now I'm going to get string that is the name of my girlfriend this is the second one and this is the next the final string that is the year i mean it was not string sorry i'm sorry it was the integer so this is our main program that will connect to our database and print the table now i'm going to close my connection it will catch the exception If any exceptions is there so I have written my program now the next thing in which many of the, the user or <clears throat> I mean I also was struck is here so <clears throat> now I'm going to compile my program by Java C sir dot Java Oh, it's have lots of error. Yeah, I have made one here. What's wrong now? So I'm sorry, I have write the capital letter but a function starts with a small case I think it should not give any error now yeah it's done now the main crucial step is here so I'm going to write java hyphen cp that is the class path of the drivers of my java and the path of the drivers is here we are in this practicing directory as you can see now i will go in this directory and i will locate this dot jar file here press a uh, put a semicolon after the driver's path and write the name of your program that is sir now enter that's it this is uh, 
the this is my table the name of my girlfriends and the year i have met to them uh, so that's it so let's see one more time what we have done so far uh, first of all we have downloaded the mysql connector java drivers and i put them into the directory of my program which is here uh, next i have written some codes uh, this line will tell that i'm going to include a mysql java driver uh, i mean mysql database connector driver and uh, this are the login information this will create a connection and uh, this will fetch the data from the table and this is for printing the data now the connection is closed and let's see one more time java java server java this is only for compiling my source code and uh, this will give a class path of my java and my sql drivers and this is the my program main function so thanks for watching guys um, siraj please if it helps you please subscribe the channel like the video and comment for any queries thank you